Okay, welcome back. Uh, I went ahead and cut my legs and uh, for the bed out of the 2x4. I got my router set up with a chamfer bit now so I can put a little bit of an angle on an edge. This is part of the top piece that I'm going to make. I'm going to put a chamfer edge on this and then on the top of it at all uh, I'm going to round it over on both sides. So kind of make it decorative and all on the top piece. So let's go ahead and get started doing that. Okay, now we got that piece done. Let's see. If you can see it very well, you're going to have a nice little chamfer, and this is going to be flipped around like this. And then you're going to have a top piece on top of this that's going to have rounded over edges. Alright. Let me set my router up for my rounded over edge and I'll be back with you. Okay, the 2x4 had rounded over edges on it. I don't know if you could see it very well. And then when I cut it, it made it square. So I'm going to round over these edges to kind of help it out and make it look more uniform all the way around. Okay, I know this is kind of a rough cut, but there's the rounded over edges. I'll have to sand it down a little bit. Then when I get this on here, it'll look something like that. be a nice little feature okay well let me get set up for the rest of this and I'll be right back with you okay uh, <clears throat> got things all set up I uh, went ahead and sanded my pieces here now we're ready to uh, draw out the corbels and this is going to go on each side. This is a pattern uh, that I got out of the magazine that I had uh, subscribed to at the time. Um, it came out of the uh, November 2004 issue of Wood Magazine. So this is the Corbell. This is a decorative side piece. This is going to go on each side underneath this top piece that I've got set up here. So we'll sit there and draw these out and uh, get these cut and then we'll sand them down. Then we'll be about ready to assemble all this together. So what I did here was made a copy of it with my uh, printer and uh, then cut it out of the copy that way I could have the uh, pattern for future use just kind of trying to grow, uh, draw along the edge here so I have an idea of what to uh, cut So 
we'll get the other one ready here now. These corbels you usually see on the arts and crafts style of furniture and uh, so forth like that. Uh, I think another name is they call it a mission furniture as well. Some of the looks I kind of like, uh, others I really don't. This ain't too bad that I've seen in this magazine. Okay. Went and got my jigsaw for this. So, uh, we'll start cutting this out. Okay. Now let me get set up with the sander and I'll sand those down real quick. So we're going to start kind of gluing some of this together. Uh, Got to wipe all that off. Okay. Now we're going to have to set this on here and center it the best we can. Okay. Some pressure on that. And we'll let that set and dry. Set this out of the way. Okay. Now, what we have is uh, I'm going to glue on the corbels on the legs, but I'm going to uh, use biscuits to help join them up and everything. So, let's get my biscuits. Get a couple of these out. biscuit joiner. You can sit there and set it up like that for the regular surfaces and then we'll be putting it up here in a little bit and putting it on that. So uh, you want to figure out where you want to put it at. Draw you a little bit of a line for the uh, biscuit joiner to, you can line it up with. And then, draw your matching line. 
on this. So you know where to go. First, we'll put it in the Corbel. Line them up. All right, now on this, I made me up a little shim thing. So I could get this to set up where I want it to, up to the right height. So that way it'll put this center of the uh, piece. So line that up. up all right now put some glue in these holes We'll make sure I got enough glue in that. So, put these down here on this. Make sure that's all flush there.
put this on this other side. I like this side better. All right. That one just fell right on there. Push that down on there. All right. Well, we'll let them dry real good. And Okay, now we got this piece back over here. I'm going to line the uh, uh, put the lines on it for the biscuit joiner because I want to put biscuits in the sides of each one of these to kind of put it together. So, pick this up and see which side we want this one to be on. Try to save this one. See what this looks like. Yeah. That'll probably be the best one there. Alright. Get that all lined up. We'll put us a biscuit mark here and here. put about four biscuits along each side here get down here and line on this one okay let's get our biscuits for this side done Clamps off these. These this piece. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to get set up to do this. What I'm going to try to do on these, um, I'm going to countersink a couple screws into the leg post here to mount this down. And then I'm going to plug the holes off with a 3 8 dowel rod. And uh, then we'll sand that down and it'll look nice. So let me get set up and I'll be right back. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I've got a uh, drill out here. I'm going to uh, draw, drill a uh, pilot hole, an eighth inch drill bit pilot hole in the center of these. What we're going to do is uh, figure center out here real quick. Measuring three quarter by three quarter. That'll give me the center because it's an inch and a half. All right, and I'm going to measure. Uh, four and a half by an inch and three quarter and mark that on each end so I get a center here that should put me in the center of each one of them legs. So, and then after I do that I'm going to put a countersink hole in uh, each one of these markings that I marked here and then put a uh, little three-eighths plug in there and sand it smooth later after it dries. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these out. Okay, now I'm going to switch bits out. And uh, put this countersink bit in here. I got some two and a half inch screws that I'm going to put in here to hold that down. Okay. Um,
get me a Phillips bit here. That'll kind of help it hold it down also. So, I'm going to go ahead and start my screws. Just go through them holes. here line my screws up on my holes all put down tight. Okay, now I must drop my little plugs. I gotta find my plugs. Okay, found my plugs. Um, we're gonna squirt some glue in here. Okay, I'm going to take a couple scrap pieces of wood here and tap that down. see see if you can see this 
There he is. Let's see, let come back here. Here is the finished uh, product before I get it all, uh, put the finish on it, the stain and everything. All this is is going on to a, uh, a standalone frame as a headboard. Uh, it doesn't need to be, the frame doesn't need to be supported on this. It's just, this is supporting this up. That's about it. Um, so, uh, I'm going to let this set and dry overnight and uh, probably have to sand it a little bit to get rid of some of the glue marks and uh, sand these down smooth where I covered up my screw holes. Um, but uh, this is what this is supposed to look like before the finish is getting put on. <laughs> So I think we got it there. We'll let it dry. And I'll get back with you tomorrow.